Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove the carpeting from these stairs as well as the under pad and the uh, carpet on the uh, side of the stair here as well. So just for the convenience of the location of the video I'm going to start part way down. Normally I would start either at the top or bottom and work my way down but this is just a better height to kind of show you what I'm doing. You don't need uh, really too much fancy for tools. You're going to need some type of a utility knife, uh, likely a pair of pliers for pulling out staples and maybe uh, a little bar like this. You can find a link in the description of the video for this bar. We use it for a lot of things so if you want to get yourself one or twelve please use our Amazon link. Um, maybe gloves. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to use those yet. So we're going to start out here by removing the carpet uh, off the actual stair treads and risers. And if you just kind of feel back in this corner, you can start either up there or down here, but I'm going to start down here. Just feel if there's a joint, because sometimes there might already be a, a cut there, but if there isn't, just take your knife and cut it so we have some place to kind of get a hold of the carpet and start with. So I'm just cutting right back in that corner, like so. And then usually it's hard to get a hold of it and pull it off, but if you have a pair of pliers, you can usually grab a hold of the carpet, get it pulled back enough to get your hand in there. Well, I didn't get it quite cut through here. Oh, that's pretty tough stuff back there. There we go. So you can see as it pulls off, they they basically just took a strip of carpet and wrapped it all the way around and up the stairs. Any carpet that you might have on the sides is going to be separate from this piece. So once you get a hold of this, just watch for staples. Like you can see the staple here, staples around the perimeter, uh, so you don't jam it in your hands. This might be where you want the gloves, but once you get it kind of started just a matter of forcefully pulling it loose in whatever direction you need to to get it off. So you can see these staples, they were all stapled up underneath the nose of the tread there. Hopefully I don't bump the camera. If I do, sorry. Okay, so it's coming off fairly relatively easy. Uh, now I just bumped the camera. Maybe what I'll do, I'll just cut this off so we don't have to move. You get the idea how well that's going to come off once you get it started. I'll just cut this out of the way. Oops. Okay, so in most cases you could Start top or bottom, and I, I think it's easier to start at the top myself. Just peel off as much as you want to, whether it's the whole set of stairs or whatever, and get it out of the way. So what you'll be left with is, generally there'll be an under pad stuck on there, a carpet pad, and it shouldn't be glued, but you never know. Generally I don't see it glued, but it'll just be held on with some staples so you can rip it apart. Be handy to have a garbage... Ow! Dang it! <laughs> Watch out for the sharpness of the uh, tack strips. So just pull off the under pad. If you have a garbage bag handy, it's probably the best because this ends up being a lot of pieces. And you can see now we're still left with a whole bunch of staples where the under pad was stapled down. So with the pliers you can fairly easily get a hold of those and pull them out. They're generally not very long like these are maybe maybe a quarter inch to three eighths long. So they come out alright. It's just that there's quite a few of them. So clean those all off anywhere that you find them. Oops. So 
that, that cleans off the tread. Now, I don't know if you can see right here, there's a few on the riser as well. So you might as well get them all off while you're in the, in the business of it, so you don't forget any. And I think I got them all off that one. So we'd simply do that on every single tread. Now, if you're recarpeting, chances are you could probably just leave the tack strips in place. If you're going to uh, laminate or wood or something like that, then you're going to want, want to remove the tack strips. So with a, any kind of bar, basically you can get underneath them. I don't know, maybe you can't see that as easy there. These guys are very pokey, as you noticed a few minutes ago when I poked myself with them. I got lots of little nails sticking up out of there and they are super, super sharp. So be cautious with that. So you pull these all off. And any nails that are left behind from them. You can see the nails for the tack strips don't come out as easy as they do if they're just nailed into the plywood. But usually they're sticking out enough there you can get pliers a hold of them and just pull them out like so. And I've got one more to pull off and then I'm going to show you what to do oops, on the uh, stair stringer sides. Okay. So we got that all off. Now you've got your stringers. And same idea, wherever you decide to do it, you probably need to cut if you don't start at the top or bottom. Just so you can get a place to start from. And these are going to be all a million staples holding that on because that's all that they really can do down there. So. Again, I just use my pliers quite a bit to get a hold of it till I can get it started. And just try to pull it off as best you can. I just find the pliers work well because you can get a hold of it pretty easy. And grip it. So I'll just get that out of the way. You get the idea with that. And again, you're going to have lots of staples. These are going to be a little different type, probably a little bit longer. Let's see what they used. Oh, they're about the same. They're maybe three eighths long. Narrow crown stapler in this case. But we need to get those all out of the way. If you're uh, painting these stringers afterwards or something like that, if that's what it's going to be finished as, then a lot of these holes you're going to want to do a little bit of cleaning up and fill the holes. And you'll be a little bit careful when pulling the staples out too, so you aren't prying with the pliers or screwdriver or whatever and causing more damage that you're gonna have to fix before you paint them. Okay, so you get the idea. Pull all the staples out. And you're probably gonna wanna have your shop vac handy because when you're all done, you're still gonna have a whole bunch of little bits of carpet and dust and whatever else is down there. It'll need a good vacuuming when you're completed. So, so I think that gives you the, the basics on knowing what you're gonna find when you go to strip your stairs and how to do it. Like I said, you don't really need any real fancy tools. You probably already own what, what you need to do it, which makes it pretty DIY friendly. And doing something like this as a project before a flooring installer comes, is a good idea too because it's going to save you some money and allow them just to come in and, and get going sort of thing so it's a good money money saving thing if you want to pay someone to do the rest of the flooring then you can get the old stuff out of the way for them so hopefully you liked the video if you did i appreciate if you give us the thumbs up uh, you can click subscribe down below there too if you uh, haven't uh, already subscribed to our channel 
And uh, as always in any of our videos, you should really check the descriptions because we have links in there for all our Facebook, Patreon, uh, sometimes to tools, those sorts of things, and to our forum. So there's some helpful tips, or not tips, but links down there to uh, let you view all our social media basically. So, okay, I appreciate you watching and please look for our videos next time.